Marcel Morrison, you already got your instructions in the dressing room. All right, give me a good clean fight and I will not bother neither one of you. Two things you must remember. Obey my commands and most important, protect yourself at all times. Check hands and good luck to the both of you. 22 first round knockouts. 15 by Morrison. And there's seven right. by Mercer. And this is a very small ring. Just trying to take Morrison out of it. Get that the referee separated. Ooh, big Good combination. shots by Morrison, who wants to do it early. He has never been beyond six, and he doesn't want to go to the later rounds. Morrison coming on, and Mercer could be in trouble. Get with it. Get busy. And in the back of the mind of Ray Mercer, part of his strategy, he would love to see Morrison punch himself out early. 27, the oldest member of the 88 Olympic squad. He says he certainly has more to lose in this head to head with Morrison at the age now of 30. Right uppercut followed by the left hook. Here is another shot of that punch. A great combination. And the Duke must be very careful not to waste those shots at the air. Push. Big left hook. His favorite punch is that left. Says he knows he is the heart of the lion. And a great chin. And there's the uppercut testing the chin. Not Mercer out with one or two shots. You have to make him quit. And so far, it has been Morrison big in the first two rounds. Perfect 17 and 0 record. Good left hook again. Now the one from Mercer to put the punches together and come up the middle. That's the same problem he had in the Damiani fight. The lower lip was cut. Again, right on it. Third round, Morrison teeing off on Mercer. Mercer, a little peekaboo, one minute. But I put him about the same place that Tommy is, from 8 to 12. And there's a big wide open. They don't want for Ray to get to get hit as much. They want him to move a little bit more so he doesn't have to take so many shots. And now Mercer puts a couple of weights together. You remember, he left Morrison with a right hand heavyweight division. It is for the WBO title. But these two fighters uh, have the proper perspective. They know the winner goes on and gets in line for some possible upper echelon of the heavyweight world. And there, Morrison runs in to the left. And now Mercer coming on. So for Mercer, he's just trying to get everything going in the first three rounds. Tommy Morrison is hurt right now. After the sixth round. Fights in a round, Tommy Morrison, and landing shots. 17 pro fights, and Morrison has in his 27. Mercer pounding away. Morrison may be going. Morrison is gone. because he was covering up and he was getting tired and that's the opening right there over the top and I hit him and he tried to grab me and lean and right there I know I had him so I just come with all right hands I just know I had him with that right there coach. Ray when he started lunging did you try to make him run into your fists oh uh, yeah I tried to well, I tried to do it like counter but coming in at the same time and it worked everything went perfect I thought the referee let it go a little too far Let's send you up to the ring to Michael Buffer for the official announcement. Free joke, Cortez steps in to stop the bout. Pardon me, referee Tony Perez stops it at 28 seconds of the fifth round. The winner by TKO victory and still WBO World Heavyweight Champion, Merciless Ray Harrison. So it has been a WBO heavyweight championship fight. Tommy Morrison and Michael Bent. Bent lost his first pro fight. And the only loss for Tommy Morrison came on October 18th, 1991. He was knocked out by Ray Mercer, but he has won 10 straight since then. And he says he's a much better and much more accomplished fighter. Here we go, round one of this championship fight. To handle Morrison's power. And control his burst. Tommy stunned by right hand and down old Morrison. Right. That'll put it. And Bet again lands the right. He knows it. Three knockdown rule in a fight. Michael 
bent on the birds of a big moment. And he's got it. That's it. A first round KO. Referee Danny Campbell down. enforces the three knockdown rule. The official time, one minute. 33 seconds into the very first round. The winner by TKO and new WBO heavyweight champion of the world, Michael. September of 94, 13 months ago. Oh, and Morrison went to the body, and when he did, Lewis caught him with a shot. Take a look back at the knockdown. John Scully, walk me through it. Well, I think Tommy's Tommy was uh, probably feeling good at that moment, letting his hands go. He saw Lennox against the ropes, and he probably got excited seeing his opportunity finally to let his hands. As Morrison leans forward without an offensive attack, Morrison now to the body. All right, see, so he, keeps, he keeps trying to box. Oh, and there is the uppercut, and the uppercut was perfect. Yeah, Lennox, you know, he gets a lot of leverage. For a big guy, for a tall guy, he gets a lot of leverage on his uppercut, and with all that weight behind it, that, that's a devastating punch. See how he... Round six, Ken Morrison finally find the answer, or will he survive at all against a very sharp Lennox Lewis? Let's talk about what happened after the fifth round in the corner. You heard the corner of Tommy Morrison saying give him one more round and also telling their charge you have to turn this into a war. What did you make of that? What they're saying is basically in, in boxing terms in corner terms they're saying you're losing. You're going to lose if you don't knock them out. You, you've got to dig down because your face isn't going to hold up for another another few rounds. And Lennox is is uh, in a good way right now. Lennox feels good. So um, Tommy's got to get desperate. Oh, he goes down again. It was just a simple sharp jab. And that right eye of Tommy Morrison is closing up. Mills Lane gives him a look, lets it continue. That's the third knockdown of the night. Lennox should push it. You know, Tommy's, Tommy's retreating. He's hurt. Lennox should push it right now. Lennox, can he close it up? Can he finish him off? See, they're on the inside. Tommy's got to push him back. He's got to work. Left he uppercut came in. Left hook. Yeah. He started the night with a left hook to score the first knockdown, and the fourth knockdown of the evening comes by way of left hook. Oh, and look at that eye. That's it. That's Mills it. Lane waves it off. Lennox Lewis, he's always been viewed as a natural resource. The winner, former heavyweight champion Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis. <laughs>